Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. This is going to be a Blender to Unreal uh, basic tutorial. It's going to be a little bit more advanced tutorial because what we'll be covering in this is creating a basic um, character to replace either the third person or the first person character in Unreal Engine 4. Now basically we'll be creating a character from scratch. Uh, we'll be going um, creating animations for it, or um, if everything goes well, we'll try and rig it to the Unreal Engine 4 um, skeleton and see if um, we can use the Unreal Engine 4 animations. So first of all, we're going to use a program called Make Human. The download link will be in the description below if you don't know about it. Um, Make Human is basically just a open source program for creating your own characters. So, basically, the character that it creates here, yeah, you can use in-game if you really want to. I still prefer a little bit of the old method. I use Make Human basically for um, just getting my low polygon geometry up and running. So, we'll set a few settings here. I think the age and the gender. Gender will just set to male. Muscle will leave the height. I want him a little bit taller portions I'm going to leave as is. This is going to be a Caucasian character. Um, not that it's really going to matter much because I'm going to completely re-sculpt re, um, the entire face. Then we're just going to go over to geometries and then topologies. Then you'll see here as you click on each one of them it like changes the details of the character. Now I want to use the male one so I want to use as little detail as possible and that's going to be my starting basis for my character so I'm just gonna go to export you can use blender exchange I prefer just to use the wavefront obj because I don't want any other information from it let's just see where we're going to export this to let's go to my Sign drive models, and we'll call this tutorial character. Tutorial, no, total rail. Message been exported, and that's it. We can close Make Human. All right, I'm just going to open Blender. Before anything, I'm just going to enable screen cross keys that way you guys can see what I'm pushing. And let's import that model we just created. Small design models tutorial character OBJ. Now, this is the scaling that I had previously set up for Unreal. Um, so, we're going, just going to have to select all of this, I think. We're just going to have to scale it by 10. Let's just see there. It looks about right. It might be a bit tall, but it seems fine. Alright, then what we're going to do now is I'm just going to select edges around certain areas that I want to separate off. So because control E I'm just going to mark a seam. The reason why I'm marking a seam is so I can select everything inside there and just hit P and separate by selection. And you'll see them. I'm going to call this male head. Alright, I'm going to separate the arms off as well. I think I'm going to do the entire arm. Control L. Control L. Oh, that doesn't seem that selected everything. Let's just select it like so. And we're going to separate these two by selection. And we're going to call them arms. 
I'm, I'm doing both forms. I might use a mirror modifier um, later on, just with the arms, but uh, for now I'm just separating everything as is. Okay, there's a little tongue piece in there that I don't really want, so I'm just going to delete that. Okay, I'm going to separate the torso. Mark a seam. a bit high so I'm just going to clear that a little bit lower all right now this is also going to be dependent on what you want to do do you want to do boots or do you want to do shoes so I want to do boots, so I'm going to separate them from about here. I'm just going to mark a seam, mark a seam, and then select. Okay, that's still not working. Let's just select that and call this male boots. And we're going to call this male pants. There we go, now our model is pretty much um, separated and ready for sculpting. I'm just going to do one more thing with these. I'm going to call them just eyes. Now, um, basically if you go into your UV editor, you'll actually see that all these already have UVs unwrapped. That's not going to matter at all. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt on top of this character. Um, and get some finer details out. I'm going to use reference, um, which I will show you all, which I will upload as well, which you guys can also use. But we're only going to start that in the next video. So for now, what we've basically done is just separate our, our model into all the different sides that we want. We're going to use a couple of modifiers to get the polycount up and so that we can sculpt properly. And then we're going to start sculpting our character. All right, this is part of a larger tutorial series, which um, is going to be ongoing for quite some time. I'm going to be uploading videos every Monday, Wednesday, and over the weekend, I'll try and upload as much as possible. If you guys like what you saw, leave a like, please subscribe to my channel, and then I will see all of you guys in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. All right, bye-bye.